Hey, what's going on guys? This is Miasen and welcome to my sacred beast testing video. So I have absolutely nothing else to say before we start. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. So the combo videos, the deck profiles and the test hands. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Alright, uh, beautiful. We have uh, exactly what I really don't like to see. So two magician souls with no spells and traps. Absolutely gorgeous. I... I actually want to kill myself, but it's not too bad. Uh, it happens all the time, so we're... Our... What the heck? Do I even normal summon this? Uh, yeah. Because I can... <sighs> Whatever, I don't even care at this point. So, Needle Fiber... Uh, yeah, at least I play like a good... Yeah, I mean, it's still going to end on like a very, like, big board. Big board, woo! <laughs> Herald and uh, Dragoon, like, oh my gosh, I'm terrified. Alright, so summon to... I'm actually so angry, it's actually not even funny. And I'm not angry because I'm playing against no one, but still. I'm still angry, actually. Uh, revive back Gamma, then who cares? So revive back Adara, and then make... Uh, whoops, uh, no, no, yeah. So Herald... Uh, blah, 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 and then Anaconda... And then I'm going to use the effect. I could also transform Herald into a dark, which is 100% irrelevant, but if I had another monster that isn't a dark, and I have Diabolos on the field, sorry, I could actually tribute that monster and trigger, um, well, I mean, yeah, tri tri trigger, like, tribute that monster to remove a card from my opponent's hand with Diabolos, so. Anyways, that is, uh, hand number one, pretty, eh, pretty okay-ish. It just shows that Needle Fiber is that good, because it makes Herald and Dragoon, so. Two negations, and then we draw into a uh, complete trash, so... Yeah, whatever, next hand. Okay, okay, you know, no, that's actually really good, though. Oh, wow. Uh, is this full combo? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I can send Diabolos with Foolish. Or I can... Okay, so I can... I can go Unleashed, and then the monster search... I really don't want to send Diabolos now that I think of it. Alright, so we're. I mean, obviously, we're gonna go for Unleashed first. Search Dark Beckoning Beast. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna send the Dark Summoning Beast. And then discard Gamma, who cares? So. Doo -doo 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 -doo, because I really wanna search Sacred Beast Awakening. That's basically why I am that desperate. So. Doo -doo -doo, Sacred Beast Awakening, amazing. And I also get to draw two cards at the end of the process. So if we get to draw Cerulean Skyfire, that would be very much appreciated. So extra normal, and then of course I'm going to disc. Yeah, okay, yeah. If I search Cerulean Skyfire, I would actually get to keep the Gamma because I would discard the Cerulean Skyfire, would keep it in the grave, and then at the very end of my combo, I would have like a level 10 monster on the field, so I could actually use the effect of Unleashed and recycle back a continuous spell from my graveyard to my hand. So that would have been uh, that would have been uh, very very nice, but uh, nay. Anyway, so tribute, summon Haman. Yeah, Haman and attack, whatever. Just in case we do draw that Cerulean Skyfire, so going to banish and search for Raviel, the second best one. Uraya is just that bad. So a tribute. Do, 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 do. All right, so far so good. Fall in Paradise. Draw two cards. I love this. Draw two. Like it's crazy. It's uh, Chicken Game is actually garbage compared to this. It's nuts, huh? Okay, that's not good. I mean, it's whatever. I mean, at least if you get uh, interrupted on the Awakening, you have a backup, but... Yeah. If we drew, like, Magician Souls, we would have been, like, able to send it, send, like, one extra Awakening, and the Infinite, because it's useless at this point. Draw two cards, and then do some some stuff. But yeah, there's uh, not much that we can do right there, so we are going to proceed to the next one. I mean, this is just very good as it is. You can even boost the effect, like the attack of Raviel by like a thousand by transforming. I'm gonna show it. I I know I already talked about this on my uh, I, I think it was my deck profile. But yeah, basically you can do this. And then it's like 5k. This is at 3 4k, and if it uh, destroys a monster by battle, you inflict a thousand to your opponent. So yeah, but it, and you, even if you were going second with this, like with this combo, you still wouldn't be able to. Um, uh, what's his face? You still wouldn't be able to attack your opponent because of the condition of dark summoning beasts so basically also monsters you could you could control cannot attack for the rest of the turn the turn you tribute it to special summon a sacred beast from your deck ignoring the summoning condition so bait but who cares anyways next hand 
I, it's crazy. I feel like I always draw like something that doesn't combo. <laughs> Every time I'm trying to show like the deck, it's it's nuts. So I'm not gonna summon this because if I yeah, I'm just gonna do whatever I want with these two and then yeah. The one issue that I have is that there's just no showcasing of anything really. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Oh, I messed up. I actually could have triggered Diabolos. Oh, man. Yeah, I should have normal summoned this. Yeah. Because if I normal summoned this, I would have been able to make Link Rebo. So I would have used these two for Needle Fiber. And then I'm going to show you where I went wrong. So let's just pretend like this was a, dark, a Chaos Summoning Beast. So, wow, very uh, enlightening, actually. Or maybe I'm just dumb and I still can't. Uh, and I, uh, and I, I still can't do it. Anyways, Link Cross, summon two. And then... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, whatever. And then I would go... Martial Marcher. And revive back... The Chaos Summoning Beast. That should be in my grave. And then I would go Herald. Whoops. I would go Herald. And then use Link Rebo to tribute the Chaos Summoning Beast, which is a Dark. So that would have triggered the Diabolos from my hand. And then I would have had Diabolos Dragoon with Herald. Which is still like, it's respectable. And then I would be able to like banish the Chaos Summoning Beast for a Fallen Paradise that does absolutely nothing. And then I would have like a worse follow-up. Because this is a better card to have like in my hand for next turn than like an extra like Adara. But at the same time when you think about it, it doesn't matter. Because Adara would have just been a discard for... Uh, Dragoon, so I definitely went wrong. You know, it's it's completely fine. I mean, not really. And also, summoning Diabolos with like Dragoon and Anaconda and everything would have been so much better because then I can Diabolos tribute the Anaconda, make them lose one card, so they have five cards and they have to deal with the Diabolos, Dragoon, Herald, and Infinite. So I did I did definitely screw up. Anyways, uh, next hand. Uh, how good is that? I, I don't really want to send this, the Dark Magician, because then it uh, closes the door to Dragoon, but... Uh, let's see... Yeah, not a lot of options. Ugh. I mean, I can obviously... I No, no, it's still good, but not good enough. I can go Chaos Summoning Beast, search... No, no, sorry, I mean Dark Beckoning Beast, search Chaos Summoning Beast. And then Foolish, the level 5 guy, Dark uh, dark Summoning Beast. They all, have, they all have like a pretty similar effect. Or I can Foolish the Diabolos, but... Oh my god. I'm just so angry. I would have to discard the Ash. Just, uh, just if I want to summon the Dragoon. So annoying. When you have to, you have to. Or I mean, I can discard the Souls, but... That's dumb, because I can just use the souls to, like, pitch this and draw one card. Okay, yeah, no, actually, we can we can souls first and then draw and then see what uh, what happens from there. Uh, yeah. No, no, that, that, that could work. So, let's see. Are we... No, wait, hold on. We can't do that. Whoa, we can't do that. We can't do that. Anyways, so first things first. Normal summon. Yeah, no, we, we actually have to discard the Ash. Very unfortunate. So, normal summon... This is where we have to discard. There's just no other way around it. Because if we souls to send this first, then we can't revive back anything. If we discard the Dark Magician, then it's no longer in the in the hand or deck, so we can't Dragoon. And if we discard the... And yeah, no, we have to keep the souls. So we have to discard the Ash. Very annoying. Alright... I'm just gonna th th like thin out my deck as much as possible before I try to draw with souls. So uh, Raviel there, because I really don't want to draw like the like these cards right now. That would be like worst case scenario. This gets me Fallen Paradise. I should actually draw with souls and then Anaconda first. I already use my normal summon. There's yeah, I mean Fallen Paradise. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm definitely gonna do that actually. So. Uh, but I could also draw into cards that I can send with souls. Mm. 
No, I, I don't think it's uh, it's worth it to play too uh, risky. So special summon. Yeah, all right. I'm just gonna go for that one. Draw one. Okay, not red eyes fusion. Phew, thank God. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go for that move. So do 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 do. Dragoon. It's so annoying having to use the materials for your hand. Always happens to me though. So now Fallen Paradise. I feel like Dragoon is like the New Age Mystic Mine. It's like on the same level of annoyance. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Raviel, Haman, Dragoon, Sacred Beast Awakening, Infinite. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is nuts! Oh my god, I feel like I played that one out well then. Interesting. Alright, well, we were able to turn it uh, into a bomb. I am quite happy. Let's go into the next one. Eh. 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 Shit. No. Yeah, we can't use Red Eyes Fusion. I mean, Dragoon. This is trash. Oh. Oh, that's really bad. Oh. We have like the basic two card combo that draws us two cards, but it doesn't end on interruptions. So, I mean, if anything, we can Red Ice Fusion pass, and then if we get Ash, then <laughs> we actually cry. Uh, no, th this is just horrible. I, I'm not a, I'm not happy at all. So, Dark Summoning Beast. Extra normal. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whatever, who cares? No. Summon Hamon once again in attack in case we draw Cerulean Skyfire. Uh, yeah, so summon Search Raviel. Okay, taking forever. Okay, and that Chain Link one thing is actually it. It just um, it just motivates me to quit this deck. Honestly, I mean uh, no no quit uh, quit this platform. It's just like legit the most annoying thing in the world. Anyway, so this is where I'm basically blocked and I can't do anything. So, in before I draw Red Eyes and Dark Magician. Bro! I'm gonna draw Dark Magician with this. This game sucks! Are you kidding me? Look at my hand! Four useless cards is crazy! What? Holy sheesh! Oh, Yo, I'm not happy. I am literally not happy. Holy... Bro! What the frick? <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. No, I, no, it is that bad. Yeah, um... Shit, man. Bro, I, this is dreadful. Next turn, I can kind of play. Like, I can snowball, but... Ah, this is trash. Let's just say they, they forced me to use the Almirage on something, so pff, whatever. Should you protect anything? Doesn't matter, because I have Paradise anyways. So, start my turn, draw two. Oh my... Again? Oh my god. At least I still have Dark Magician in the deck, so I don't have to waste my normal summon on this, but... Still so trash. I don't need... The... Whatever, I, I'm not gonna use the effect right now, so I'm gonna send the Red Eyes Fusion and... No, no, whoa, 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 hold on. No, this is a free uh, recursion, so I'm just gonna set these two. Okay, nice, okay, sure. Ah, uh, that, no, that, that, I mean, that's Diabolos at least. The Gamma, whatever. Oh, yo, this this deck snowballs like nuts, though. It's It's crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I can tribute uh, for uh, Red Eyes, which would obviously be very cute. Uh, let's see. So this. Surge, Chaos Summoning Beast. Then this into uh, Awakening, obviously. And then Extra Normal on this. Tribute Summon for Useless Soraya, whatever. Uh, let's see... Oh, man. Oh, man, I should have made a Link Rebo first. Yeah, I should have made a Link Rebo, because now I can't tribute... I can't get back the Diabolos from, uh... Oh, no, no, I can still get it. Never mind, I'm dumb. So, I can go, like, tribute the Dark Beckoning Beast, and then it gains zero attack, and then I get back Diabolos. And then, well, obviously, we're not playing against an opponent, but if we were, then Diabolos remove uh, one card from uh, their hand. And yeah, you just basically we have three Secret Beast, uh, Secret Beast Awakening, Infinite, blah blah blah, and uh, stuff like that. So it's cool. At least you get to explode. But this was like a horrible hand. I don't care what people say. This was shit, and I also drew into shit. So 
I'm sad. I'm no, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm not sad, but uh, yeah. Anyways, next hand. Uh, okay, cool. That's also really bad. Uh, uh, we can tribute summon dark summoning beast, not do anything, and then cry. Okay, yeah, no, forget it. Uh, so we basically have to rely on luck. Yeah, we have to send these two. We have no choice. Our hand is just way too trash. Oh. No, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, that is not. Uh, that is not uh, good. So I'm gonna send Diabolos. At least it does something. It is a pre like it is pressure on its own. And then normal summon this. I mean, it could be worse when you think about it, right? So there, Elameo. It actually has a thousand. It's the first time ever. Wow. Unreal. And then in before I actually draw the good cards, like the continuous spell that I can't use anymore, the Dark Beckoning Beast. I'll draw two. I'm, I'm definitely gonna draw them. <laughs> no, or not. <laughs> okay. Nice. I mean, I, I feel like... Yeah, I mean, I, I the thing is, Araya is just so horrible that you have to use it for Anaconda. Like, you can't even keep it on the field. It's so trash. It, ha it has no built-in protection, literally. It just does nothing. And just, it has the worst stats. And who cares if you can destroy a spell or trap? It just happens during your turn. It's just so bad. But yeah, whatever. At least we turn like something horrible into something that's not that bad. But obviously drawing into this guy all the time, like Dark Magician or Red Eyes, very annoying. But whatever, let's go into another hand. Bro! <laughs> I'm deadass not exaggerating when I say those cards are glued to my hand. It's like most of my draws involve Red Eyes Fusion, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, or Driver. It's... I... I... I yeah. It's... It's... Yeah. <laughs> and then obviously I don't draw the starters. Instead I draw Chaos Summoning Beast with no Sacred Beast. Or I draw Sacred Beast with no Chaos Summoning Beast. And I obviously never draw the Continuous Spell or Dark Beckoning Beast. <laughs> and when I do, the rest of my hand is clunky AF. But uh, this hand is obviously really, really bad. Uh, what can you do? You can make Link Rebo and then pass. So I don't think you're getting OTK'd, at least. Because, obviously, your opponent is just going to attack and then get Diabolos. So you have that. And then you have Infinite and Ash. So it's not too bad, honestly. But it is really, really bad. Uh, once again, shout outs to the um, shout outs to the boys. But at, at least this is a good hand though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain this time. Uh, so it's a it's a really good three card combo. It actually does a lot, to be honest. So do, 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 do. so I'm gonna yeah, and this can just be the discard for Dragoon because I'm gonna end on a Herald Dragoon, two Sacred Beast and two Draws. So let's see. Uh, Dark Pedicum, yeah, of course, Dark Summoning Beast, because I have Chaos right there, alright, cool. And then Needle Fiber, using these two, yes, Summoning Gamma. Alrighty, and then Pitch for Thingy, Summon Hamon in Attack. If you summon Hamon in Defense, at least you kind of have the Insurance Policy for Herald. You know that it's not going to get attacked, but the issue is that if you draw Cerulean Skyfire, you look like a moron because you have you now have a useless card. So that's why I always summon an attack. I don't really care that much about uh, Thingy. So, search for Raviel. Okay, now we definitely got this in the bag. Oh, we're Gooch. So, draw. Uh, I should draw after everything. Yeah, there's no way I'm drawing Diabolos. And even if I were, I think it's too late-ish. Yeah, it is too late. Well, it's never really too late, but... Yeah, it's never too late because of Raviel, that's why, but... Whatever. So... Revive back... Who cares? A Herald... Yes, Herald now. Don't herald before you, you like you use a foolish card, for example. Though that would be bad. Uh, the zones don't matter anymore because master rule five. All right, so I don't want to gain myself, and then I'm going to. Oh no no, not draw draw two yet. Whoa, whoa, watch out. So yeah, now I'm going to red eyes fusion first. Get rid of the bricks. They're gonna get banished. I don't care about them anyways. 
So do this, and then draw two. Please, Cerulean Skyfire or Sacred Beast Awakening, please. Yes, yes, Cerulean Skyfire, that's a bomb! Okay, nice. So, just a recap of what this is. This is why I said, like, even though I drew Driver, I'm not going to complain, because of the rest of the hand is gorgeous. So we have Herald, which is self-explanatory, it's a spell and trap or monster negate, and a baby macrocosmos. And then you can negate a spell or trap during your opponent's turn, well, I mean, during either player's turn in theory, and then put Hamon, Hamon in defense, and when Hamon is in defense, your opponent can only attack Hamon. And then you have Dragoon for any kind of negation, and this is also a floodgate, because your opponent can't set monsters anymore, because if they do, you just destroy them and you kill. So it's just, it's a card that puts way too much pressure on the game and this is why it should get banned actually. Or anything that makes, like that summons this card too easily should get banned. And then we have Raviel which doesn't really do much outside of summoning like tokens which, yeah, don't do anything. <laughs> and then um, Cerulean Skyfire, Infinite, uh, yeah, no, that, that's really good. Yeah, I'm not allowed to complain uh, at all. So what's gonna happen is that... Uh, whatever, our opponent is going to play their turn. Hamon, let's just say we negated something and Hamon went to defense. Oh my god, I'm just so good at the game. So, first thing you gotta do is draw two cards. Alrighty, okay, sure, whatever. We can revive back something with a uh, continuous spell, but that wouldn't be too good. Oh, we can tribute summon for driver. That's that's sweet. So, we can go needle fiber, it doesn't do much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's not much that you can do. I mean, you can try to... You can try your luck with Magician Souls, see what, you, what you're about to draw, but that's kind of it, ish. Yeah, because this is just a free recycle, so we can just pitch Infinite and Cerulean Skyfire, and then recycle back. So yeah, not much, but just look at the card advantage. This is a structure deck, by the way, and... On your second turn of setting up, you already have like 7 cards in hand, 6 monsters on the field, a field spell that keeps drawing you 2 cards every single turn, so it's just... I'm just trying to give you an idea of what the deck can do. That's basically what I'm trying to do, but I'm going to try to go for one final hand because honestly, I am having a lot of fun with this. It is really, really fun. Except when I brick, but whatever. Anyways, let's just go into one final hand and if I break too much, I'm gonna go make another one. So we didn't brick. Uh, but now I'm wondering if I should foolish first or upstart. I'm gonna upstart so I can know, so I know what I foolish. You see th this because otherwise I could actually foolish into something else. But now I know that my foolish can actually send another card and the Diabolos whatever. Um, although I would say I already have the Dark Summoning Beast, so what can I even foolish? Not much, huh? Yeah, because it's not like I wanted to foolish the level two. Uh, although I could do it. Yeah, yeah, I could do it. No, no I should do it. Oh, yeah, I should do it. No, no, I, actually, I shouldn't do it. <laughs> That's not a good idea at all. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I can use my extra tribute summon. And then I can start... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, we're Gooch. We're not gonna end on Dragoon, but we're still Gooch, so... I, we're, I mean, we end on Dragoon if the opponent ashes this, or draws the upstart, but... Hey. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, we're going to Foolish for Chaos Summoning Beast. I don't know, I hope my IQ is high enough for this. Oh no, never mind, my IQ is really low, sorry, I, I can't uh, I, can, I can't do this. I have to search the continuous spell, so I don't actually have the combo that I thought I had. So, the Foolish is 100% useless. Uh, that's that's sad. I actually should have Foolished first, you see, I, I got a... I got two... I got a hold of my, uh, myself. Uh, I mean... Yeah, no, if we search this, we can't play. Oh... I mean, we can, but, like, we can't. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, we can't. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Angry. If we, if only we drew the continuous spell instead of searching this, then we would have been, then we would have been able to. But now we actually search a 100% useless card with this, so. Whatever, follow up for next turn, whatever, who cares. Oh shit, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, I, I did everything wrong, who cares? <laughs> Let's just go into the next one. Okay, okay, yeah, you see, this is redemption, you know? You, like, God actually uh, ex accepted my apologies. I can actually play this one out uh, in peace, so leave me alone. Oh, th this hand is so good, though. Poor bomb. So, normal. 
search for the <laughs> dark summoning beast, yeah. Let's just pretend, by the way, like you never actually saw what I did the uh, last game. <laughs> I don't want to humiliate myself uh, too much. Uh, we should... No, no, we shouldn't souls first. Yeah, we, so we should Almirage, yeah, and then pitch thingy. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, alright, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon Hamon and then Raviel and then try to draw with souls. So, yeah, because I don't want to use the effect of this yet, because I might actually draw into Diabolos with the souls. So, send this, not the Dark Magician. Or maybe I just suck at the game and I'm gonna draw, like, Red Eyes Fusion. Hopefully not. So, send these two. I don't need infinite, because I already have Awakening for two. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Who cares? Who cares? Just, uh... It's, it's okay. <laughs> Once again, uh, no, no, actually, this time we actually have to Anaconda first. Because now I really can't afford to draw the bad cards. It, like, the odds are, like, higher with 27 cards. So, we're gonna go for this, go for that, send this, and do that. Summon Dragoon. And then proceed to draw Cerulean Skyfire like the skillful Yu-Gi-Oh player that I am. Or draw trash. Merry Christmas! I have four useless cards in my hand. Well, I mean, one good card and three useless cards. And then I have Awakening and... Uh... Eh, it's not too bad. Yeah, so two interruptions and uh, pff, whatever. So during our opponent's turn... I don't care what happens. Yeah, I mean, we use this. No monster effects on their field. Ah, Diablos, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, you see, so draw two. Anything? Ooh, okay. Yo, not bad, not bad, not bad. We still have the spell in there, so we can go for this. Search for the spell. Yeah, we already have the trap, so who cares? Then we go for this. Search for Raya. I think I'm gonna tribute the Anaconda right away, honestly. Just, nah. No, I'm gonna tribute the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, oh, sh oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, so if we <laughs> Diabolos now, then we have to tribute ourselves. <laughs> my god. I should have done this, and then tribute, summon Uriah, and then, like... Actually, no, I, di I didn't even have space for everything. Uh, no, I probably did. Uh, yeah, 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 no, no I, I, I definitely did. I'm definitely dumb. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, so... Make a phoenix? No, just kidding. But yeah. See, because now I... It, it, like, this actually... The Araya should have actually tributed this. And then I can tribute this. Summon Araya and then... Uh, the, I'm sorry, the Raviel should have tributed this. And then this summons Araya and then Diabolos. And then I basically just uh, gave my opponent with a zero... Yeah, zero attack Raviel. Gains a thousand for each continuous trap. So yeah, zero attack Raviel. Definitely the way we do it. And uh, then we can use the effect of this, get back a continuous spell from the grave. And yeah, at least we flex with like our 20 billion card uh, hand and 65 billion card field. But anyways, that is pretty much all I had to showcase for this test 10 video. If you have any comments or feedback, except, oh, can you please make a video against other actual people? Because uh, I don't care, I'm never gonna do it. Unless I have like 20 billion subscribers and I make a lot of money with you guys. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna do this. But anyways, if you have like other comments and feedback, let me know in the comment section below. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe because it makes me happy and making me happy is good. Blah, 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 whatever, who cares. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I really need some sleep. Peace.